The history of El Dorado starts on 1966. We escaped from Cuba in a boat called El Dorado. The, the boat actually came, my father, my brother, and myself. We actually arrived to Mexico first, and we were working there for, for one month. We actually made 25 cents an hour working in Mexico. We slept on a roof of the house, of the refugee house, because when we arrived there, there was no space on the refugee house to be sleeping on. Then we came to the United States. Uh, uh, we said, wow, this is great. This country is great. We're making already 125 because we came to work in a furniture manufacturing facility. And the following day, we were making five times more than we used to make in Mexico. We opened the furniture store on June of 1967. Three months later, the Small Business Administration gave us $10,000 to be, you know, working in the business. We have a lot of desire to succeed and so forth, but we don't have any money at the time. And that gave us a really a huge opportunity to grow and so forth. At the beginning, I did not know that much English. I don't, I don't know much English <laughs> today either, but because actually I only went for, for night school for, for two weeks to learn the language. And actually my father say after two weeks, he said, you know, you, you already know enough, so come back to work. So basically we were back and forth, you know, working in the morning in one factory and then working in the furniture store. It was tough. And next year, the whole family actually came, my mom and my other four brothers. So we say now we have everything, we're in heaven. We have the whole family together. We can do anything. In 1980, El Dorado opened his second store. That store was a showroom warehouse operation. I was in college at that time and I was looking for an opportunity and I found a newspaper ad looking for a hire. And I actually applied and I was interviewed by one of the brothers, Julio. The first thing he asked me is, have you ever worked in a furniture store? I said, no. So actually he gave me the opportunity and it's been 36 years I've been working for El Dorado Furniture. In the next few years, we opened up three more stores. It was going great. In the early 90s, Hurricane Andrew hit South Florida and it was devastating. After Hurricane Andrew hit South Florida, we really have a big situation in the sense that the business was great before, but then when the hurricane hit, we have three stores less. One has about a foot of water on the floor, the other one lost a roof, and the other one, the wind got so, so much that devastated the whole store too. So all of a sudden, we had to close three of the stores that we have, and we say, you know, what do we gonna do? So basically, we lease another warehouse facility. We start thinking bigger than before, and try to realize that the opportunity was there. It wasn't, really wasn't a problem, it was an opportunity presented to us at that moment. Today, we, we have a thousand employees in the company. At that time, we may have maybe 200 employees in the company. Something that my father always teach us at the beginning, with any problem that you have in life, you have to figure out where is the opportunity, and it's always there. I know the Capo family for probably 25 or 30 years and done business with them and have been friends with them for that long. They treat their employees, they treat their vendors, and they treat their customers with the greatest dignity um, and, and honor that I think any retailer I can name that we do business with in the United States. They're truly unique in that respect. And, and they're genuine and they're just nice people to do business with. And you know, although you'd like to say that about everybody in our industry, that's not necessarily true. And so it is, you know, they, that's what makes them unique and truly stands out. For our 45 year anniversary, we gave 45 family furniture for the entire home. It was heartwarming. We're doing that for the 50th anniversary, again. In the furniture business, you have to have passion. You have to have passion not just for the job that you do, but for the people around you, for the people you do business, for the consumer. In the morning when I go to work, actually I see things in a different way from what I saw the day before. And I try to learn from that. I try to see how I can make it better. I see how can we become a better company. It's been a great honor working for the El Dorado family not only for their hard work and dedication, but also for the 50 years of supporting South Florida as a furniture industry leaders. On behalf of all of the suppliers and vendors of El Dorado Furniture, let me congratulate the Capo family on, on a great achievement, on a great business, and being great friends for all of us.
I would like to thank every single person who voted for this recognition to Eldorado Furniture Family and for over a thousand employees that we have in the company. Without you, you have, we were not able to accomplish this. And we really thank God for this opportunity, for being in the United States, the best country in the world, and also to be being able to, to be recognized for something that we never thought about it 50 years ago. Thank you.